going on guys what is up it's your boy frost welcome back i know it's been a minute i do apologize well your boy's coming back and everything changed a little bit as you guys can see just a couple uh differences in the background um pretty much these two are one of the biggest things that did happen the reason why i haven't been uploading and what i'm gonna do going forward this is what i'm gonna tell you guys in today's video so i think you for like sitting back and relaxing and listening to this um i do understand i do be doing this a lot just randomly go off the grid and come back with a new video um but this is pretty much the biggest reason why so stay tuned sit back and relax so first thing off first things first i got a brand new computer that i build myself so i had an old pre-build from cyberpower it was from like 2017 it was an okay model for the time being. It had an RX 580, a B350 motherboard. It got the job done uh, back when Fortnite was popping, right? When I was uh, doing Fortnite videos and, and uh, what was the other video uh, game I was playing? Call of Duty, um, World War II for a little bit. Then I transitioned to Fortnite because that was the wave. And I really like how World War II was sitting in my system, feel me? I didn't like how it was playing until they did an overhaul and it was for me, it was like all too late. I was financially and actually uh, mentally invested into Fortnite and actually streaming Fortnite and playing Fortnite with Dark and Chris. But as the times go on, uh, you start seeing your hardware start to fall behind the, the, I would say, the specifications or the standard. And I got tired of it. So I dumped literally my savings into this computer build. And every part was individually picked by myself it's not a pre-build i wanted to do a pre-build from ironside but at the price point they were getting i honestly i could have built better for the same amount of money that i put into this computer build i did go over budget because i wanted to do something interesting and i want to do something different so i went with the water cooled method and hope you guys like how it turned out i really do enjoy how it turned out hope, hopefully you guys did too a listing and breakdown I'm gonna put it down in the description below my PC build so to start it off I do have a Ryzen 3950x uh, CPU I love the CPU it's super fast it gets the job done and pretty much it's what was I was severely lacking back in 2017 and so on and so forth until like October I actually finished this I had a Ryzen 1700 7 1700 it wasn't a 1700X either, it was just a 1700. It got the job done, but yet, when it came down to rendering and editing videos, a 15 minute video with um, the editing that I like to put into it, like my form of editing, it wasn't up to par at all. It was taking, it was taking over an hour to render a 15 minute video with edits and cuts and stuff like that and graphics, and it was too much of a load that sometimes the video will even fail to render. And I did not like that. And that was the biggest problem where it came to um, uploading videos was the time consuming. It takes from, it takes almost an hour to edit for me anyway, because I know my, my templates on the top of my head of what I like to do, what I like to put in. And pretty much I have folders everywhere where I put all my usual um, graphics, sound effects and stuff like that. Then it will take over an hour to render the video and sometimes halfway through that the video will crash so that turns into a half an hour so it's almost three hours of editing work because my my hardware wasn't up to par and that's the main reason why my uploads were so sporadic because i was so unmotivated because i know how long it took and sometimes the frustration and like the, the doubtfulness the pessimism that i had when it came to rendering and editing because i just know something is going to going to fail so hopefully you guys understand that so I got a Ryzen 9 3950X. Yes, I do know the 5950X just dropped. Um, I'm pretty, I was pretty uh, sure that it was just gonna be another paper launch uh, as with in, NVIDIA with their graphics cards. 
Um, it was going to be a paper launch. I was not going to have a chance to even get it. I think I actually had a chance to get it, to be honest. I was kind of skeptical because B&H was doing uh, pre-orders, but some of those, I found out some of those pre-orders wasn't even falling through correctly because they, they only had like 20 and are getting like 1,000 freaking uh, pre-orders when they only had like 20 per store that, to your closest store. So, so be it. I will stick with a 3950X. It's doing a job done. The I would say the specs between the two is is very similar. The 5950X is 24% faster overall uh, with a higher clock speed, but pretty much they do the same thing. They're pretty much tier to tier. For an extra 50 bucks, I could have gotten a 5950X, but I got the 3950X before they announced the new CPUs. I should have meant I should have uh, like you know been aware of it, but I wasn't. I was I'm still new at building this PC game, and I went head first into it. So my motherboard is a MSI X570 Prestige uh, Creation motherboard. I don't know really much about motherboards, about what I was trying to look for. I was looking for something with a lot of USB supportage. Uh, so I was looking into the MSI uh, or the X the X500 series. Uh, motherboards and I like MSI because my not my last motherboard was an MSI motherboard and I really like the BIOS really like the integration and everything like that it worked fine so MSI wasn't a brand that I did not trust I really trusted it so I went with the MSI X570 prestige creation motherboard it hadn't failed me yet I actually did like it I actually bought it like in July and I put this thing together in October so if this thing was DOA I would have been SOL. I would, if I didn't have, if I didn't put this together in October and I bought the MSI motherboard in July and I actually put it together and, and it was DOA, I was pretty much SOL. But thank God it wasn't. That was one of my biggest concerns. I was like, please, yo, because I read a review that some dude had a horrible experience with MSI. Out of like all the great reviews, this one one. See, like, that's how pessimistic, pessimistic I get sometimes. That one review. Out of like the ten thousand good ones or the couple hundred good ones, I it got almost got me completely discouraged. But I try to stay positive and thank God this motherboard works. Um, it's a really great motherboard. It has over twenty USB slots in the I/O in the rear, and that's what I was looking for. And not I think only two of them out of the twenty three that it does have in total are USB 3.2. So 20, one of them is like 3.0 or 3.1s and 3.2s, but there's only like two 2.0s and that's totally fine. You always gotta have some 2.0s, right? But they're backwards compatible actually. So next up was the RAM. So the RAM was a major upgrade. I upgraded the RAM on my old PC from like some 3000 gig cheap sticks, uh, like 16 gigabytes to some XBG 32 gigs, 3200 speeds. Then I built this thing and got Corsair's 3200 speed, 64 gig RAM. So I have two 32 gig sticks. I wanted 3600 uh, megahertz speeds, but I couldn't really find it. Uh, can't really find if it if it even exists or not, but I think it did. But at a lower um, memory capacity, I think it was like 32 gigs, and it was like two 16 gig sticks. But my mindset, I wanted 128 gigs of RAM. I know 128 gigs is kind of excessive. 64 gigs is enough to get the job done. But 64 gigs, then you got two empty slots, dim slots. So I kind of want to fill those other two just to be like you know even just to have perfection so i have four lights going off not just two but that's what it is it's the gpu so the gpu i'm running right now is a zotac 3080 i was looking for a gaming x trio 3080 from msi and those were out of my reach i had like literally ordered three of them and they all got back ordered and delayed until 2021 and I just like cut all ties. I had a CD, CDW order, a Dell order, and I had a, um, I forgot another order too. Um, that was all freaking backlogged until January 2021 when they 
put those things for sale on their site it was pretty much a paper sale and they didn't really have them in stock they're like yeah we're selling them but yet you gotta pay uh 50 to 100 dollars more than msrp but yet we're not going to ship them until 2021 so i'm like screw you like you're gonna literally i ordered from dell so i was like okay you ordered it on the 13th uh we will ship it and get delivered on the 21st then it's like okay the 21st came up oh i'm sorry there's a delay in the shipment we have to ship it in november so i waited three weeks just for them to tell me oh i'm sorry uh we ran out of stock they ran out of stock how how when i put the order in the site didn't even crash no one even knew about it so houseway how so yeah they're out of stock until january 5th or 6th 2021 i'm like screw you i want my money back get out of my face no i'm done i don't like y'all so Last but not least, again, the case. So the case is the Anities Crystal XL Gen 2 case. It's a steel case, I would believe so, because it is magnetic. This is a magnetic what? Uh, this is a magnetic uh, <laughs> remote for my lighting. And it does have a lot of ventilation, okay, guys? So this right here, as you guys can see in the distance, it is a magnetic mesh panel and each of, each side of these panels is really dope because i can add fans here if i want to i can add fan four fans here four fans in the front and four fans on the other side because it is uh pass through easily through there and four fans up top and i think three fans at the very bottom or four yeah three or four fans at the very bottom and have a fan under my ps my power supply unit fan so that's four 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 so this is like 24 fans i could have in total 20 or some some odd like that hold on that's like four here four here that's 12 16 20 20 yeah i could have over 21 fans in here at a single time to have one of the coldest pcs ever but right now i'm stocking out at five this case came with five fan the five fans as you guys can see in the rgbs uh four fans in the front and a single fan in the rear i might upgrade to corsairs fans um just because i like corsair so much i do have the commander pro that is controlling the actual cooling system because uh, the cooling system i do have for my cpu is a custom water loop using soft tubing because i was not confident enough to do the hard tubing uh measurements but i do have the corsair hydro x series um radiator and cooling system i got the the pump and reservoir i got the cpu water block and i do have a 360 radiator i could have done 480 i just didn't know there was a 480 i just know they were selling all this as a pack so i had to get it i mean 360 is good enough it's keeping my cpu really cool it doesn't touch 60 uh 60 degrees celsius under load it barely does it and i have the the cpu currently overclocked at 4.3 gigahertz guys 4.3 gigahertz and i think it's at 1.4 volts right now i have it at i want to up it to 4.5 and i can think i can still keep it at 4.1.4 volts so i'm trying to get to 4.5 gigahertz and it doesn't even touch uh 60 c uh, 60 degrees celsius on the ryzen master amd master uh overclocking software that i do that i do have on my pc currently i have vr so i have a vr headset um my old computer i was using it on my old computer but it didn't really run well i mean it did but it wasn't great so i got vr if you guys want to see some vr footage or vr videos we can do that now um yeah i had this for like a couple months i think i got it in august i was going to do a collab video with chris but i don't know if that's still going on but it's okay we got some VR footage we possibly want to do to change up the pace, change up the content on the channel. Have some fun with some VR videos, VR gameplay, VR shooters, or VR zombie games and stuff like that. That's one reason why I did like VR, because it was immersive. Um, I can't see anything, by the way. I'm looking literally into the darkness, and I have two uh, sensor nodes right here. But yeah, we got VR, guys. Um, pretty dope. I do like it. But if you guys want to see some VR footage... Uh, put down in the comment section below some video games you want to see i'll consider more thing i gotta talk about guys good news your boy is now partnered with mall energy drink all right i am now partnered with mall energy drink uh, i haven't used the shaker yet because tuh, your boy 
uses this one instead as a just as a decoration piece because this is pretty dope um as you guys can see i have seven uh, uh tick flavors or seven jars of flavors and three and two of the same um honestly can't go wrong with mall energy drink so if you guys don't mind follow if you'd like to try out mall energy drink uh, follow my reference uh, link in the description below. Place an order. Try it out. You can do the free uh, first jar trial. If you don't like it, you can cancel the subscription. The subscription won't charge until 30 days after you get your first jar. And if you do like it, continue doing so. And if you use my link, it actually helps me get some revenue in my pocket. Um, if you use Mall 10 at checkout, you get 10% off your order. Honestly, guys... This is no joke. Uh, Maul is really good. Can't go wrong with it. Honestly, I use it almost every day. It's a good alternative from sodas because back when I was deployed, I was a freaking bang, rain, and monster chugger. I was going crazy with those. Those things would keep me up for when I needed it to be when you have those early mornings and late days. But the crash was horrible. It was like getting into a car accident type of crash. Like, I'll be hyped and going to work like yes let's do this i'm up in conscious even though i can't sleep bang like head-on collision i'm slumped in my chair trying to keep my eyes open like huh who what what oh oh my bad i ain't sleeping like i ain't sleeping oh it's a good alternative because one is natural flavors and the caffeine is naturally caffeinated too they use caffeine from green tea uh, green tea juice. So they extract the caffeine out the green tea leaves themselves and it's a better caffeine because it's naturally from the plant and not synthesized caffeine from like soda companies where they use to cut corners when they can't get it from the coca leaf. All has five distinct flavors. Jungle Berry which is the first one. Jungle Berry is like a fruit punch flavor. It was one of my very first ones. Um, did love this flavor for the time being for what it was worth but then I had to progress into the other flavors and when i was telling you guys about the names names are really creative i do like it this one <laughs> we all know 2015 vibes rest in peace harambe this even though it's <laughs> the funniest thing this is not even a, like a banana flavor either it's like a blood orange flavor and i do like blood orange a lot um those are one of my two flavors from g fuel is a blood blood orange and kiwi strawberry the only reason why i didn't really like g fuel it did give me the jitters it did it was a it did have a weird crash to this um, but the mixture of it, it did not mix well in water for some reason. I always had some at the bottom. It didn't mix well. So, but these do mix well too as well. And it's very, very concentrated. I'll show you guys the reason why they're very concentrated. But these right here, Maul, they do blend very well in water in eight ounce cups, 16, 24, 32, whatever you're, you're trying, amount you're trying to drink. And it's all natural. So it's like, it's sugar free and everything like that. So it's all natural flavor, all natural sweeteners, um, and it's natural energy, guys. As you guys can see in the back, it shows your intensity and how many scoops you got. So you get sixty servings. So sixty servings, or twenty-four, ser or twenty servings, depending on how much you take at a single time. I usually take about three scoops at a time, just because I drink a lot, but I don't chug it all at once. I drink it throughout the day to keep me up, keep me going. But the crash is not horrible it's like you don't crash at all it's just like you peak up in energy then you just gradually go around and you level out into your normal pace you don't have weird heart palpitations you don't have like the jitters you don't have your jaw jatter like i do a lot especially if i'm on c4 or if i'm at the gym um it just gives you a natural energy i use it for the gym i use it for when i really need to pick me up and i do love the flavor the flavors are very like nostalgia because they're, they're like jolly rancher flavors to be honest um and i love jolly ranchers like one of my favorite ones Blue buzz mamba mamba is now my favorite because it's blue raspberry i love blue raspberry guys and lastly one of my least favorite of the five not because it's bad well because it gives me ptsd i it gives me army ptsd and this is this one right here green growl maw energy drink green green growl so green growl is not a bad flavor. It's just it's a lemon lime flavor, and from eating MREs, you get the you always get the lemon lime uh, Gatorade fluid pouch, and I just like damn man, 
why I gotta be this one? Like I, I, I drink this almost all the time when I'm in the field. <laughs> so I mean, like it's not a bad flavor. It's just not my cup of tea because I had it so much when I was eating MREs back in basic and whenever I'm in the field when I'm at drill and stuff like that. So no offense to you, Ma. Uh, Ma. It's just this one ain't it. Ah, this would probably be the last one I try, but. It's still good though. It's good. it's still good for you guys. If you guys do like lemon lime flavor, it's still good for you guys. Concentrate this thing. Oh, you see that? Yeah, this thing is almost gone. Yeah, as you guys can see, look how small the sh this cup, the um, the scoop is. So this small scoop compared to like, um. You know, the big scoop from G Fuel. And 380 little scoops keeps you up almost the whole day naturally. Make you feel great. It makes you feel great. It don't make you feel like you're on crack. This stuff is really concentrated. Um, Honestly, I was skeptical when I first saw the small jar, but shoot. <laughs> I was wrong. Try Mall Energy Drink. So again, guys, I do appreciate if you guys do follow that link in the description below. Give try out the free trial. You only pay for shipping. Shipping is like five dollars for in the continental United States. I don't know about international really, um, but yeah, only for five bucks you get a twenty five jar, twenty five um dollar jar that can last up to sixty servings if you want to just be moderate and to do eight or twelve ounces of water at a time because your average serving of cup, your your average serving or is eight ounces of water. So therefore, guys, you can actually like have this be like a year supply right here because you don't drink soda every day. I stopped drinking soda every day. Well, not stop drinking. I don't even drink soda every day. The only soda I do have a problem with is root beer. You can't go wrong. Root beer is one of the best sodas for me. And I try to stay stay away from that. So this is a good alternative if you're trying to stay off the energy drinks and you're trying to drink more water. It keeps you hydrated and it's not, it's not going to uh, harm your body. So if you guys give it a try, use my description, my, uh, my custom link in the description below. It's helping me out. And it also is helping you out for five bucks. You get twenty five dollars with the with the mixture, and you could cancel at any time after that after you get your first order. If you don't like it, it's five bucks, and you get twenty five dollars worth. It's a twenty five dollar value for five bucks. That's eighty percent off, basically. So give it a shot, guys. If you guys do enjoy. I hope you guys do understand. Um, I will be uploading once again after I up, uh, after I edit this video. Pretty much this video is a testing of the CPU. I know it's been. I had this. PC built for over a month. I was just nervous on how to go about testing it. But anyway, guys, hope you guys do understand. I'm your boy Frostbite. I do appreciate you guys. And let me know what you guys think about the do rag. Feel me? It's, it's stretching out a little bit because I'm breaking it in. But you know, it's a Dragon Ball Z do rag, and I got the the Star Wars, uh, my favorite Star Wars hoodie. Anyway, hope you guys do enjoy. Um, I see you guys in the stream. I'm gonna be streaming again pretty soon, and I see you guys in the next video, which will most likely be a Call of Duty COD War, COD, Cold, Call of Duty Cold War review. Anyway, I'm your boy Frost. I see you guys in the next one. Doses. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Always activate push notifications so you guys won't miss a single upload. And also follow me on Twitter. I'll follow back. And as well, lastly, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Dude, we stream almost daily and we always get lit in the stream. So let's get it.